Welcome to the Hava Technology. In this video, I will show you how to store the recordings on FTP server. I have already created the FTP server on my same PC. You can see this is my FTP server. I have already done the settings. Maybe you are using a different server, so it doesn't. Uh, there's nothing to worry. Okay, you only need the server IP address, the username and the password, and the file location where you want to store the data. This is my server. It's perfectly working. This is the server IP address. So we'll go to the option that storage. Here you can see the FTP option. There are two things: the FTP and the SFTP. FTP is the file transfer protocol, and the SFTP is the recommended or the latest one. We can see this is more secure as compared to the traditional one. Here we need to put the server IP address, the port number. If we use the FTP, the port is 21, and SFTP the port is 22. And here you need to put the username, password, and FTP the port location and file size. File size first I will uh, describe this. What is the difference between file size by choose selecting zero and other digits? If we select zero, it will take the default value from the basic function. Like here, if you have set the time length one minute. Okay, so it are uh, it's recording one minute file on your HDD. Also, it will transfer the same one minute file on your FTP server if you will select zero here. And the channels, how many selects you channels you want to do, and the day on which day you want to set the uh, settings, you can do it according to your convenience. There are two periods, especially when someone wants to record at night time. That time we can set the two periods, like if someone wants to record from 8 p.m. to morning 8 p.m. Sorry, 8 a.m. So that time he can set the schedule uh, like 20 yeah 20 and 24 and from 0 to 8 it's like same it means at night time it will record only and at daytime it will not send the data at time that that time we need to select both these periods so i will right now i don't need this so i want to record 24 7 and general recording let it and this is the picture upload interval after what seconds after how many seconds you can say it's you can it's up to you we can choose 5 10 whatever you want to set i will choose 5 seconds after 5 seconds i want to receive the snapshots from all the channels yeah it's it's here and one more thing i will here show you the first thing that you need to check that the recording should be there but first it will record on the hdd then it will send the data on the ftp server that so it's compulsory to check that recording is working perfectly fine on your the hard disk is detected and this option also it should be read and write also if it's only read and only here if we select read only that means it will not send the data to the ftp server so here you can always check it's read and write okay in the basic settings we have already told you that i set one minute i want one minute recording to be sent to my ftp server the file's length will be of one minute now we'll do the settings on ftp server this is my server ip address as you can see this is the server ip address 092 already and 21 this is my username put the password the, fo the folder name you can see i will show you the folder name is here in eftp i will delete this because it will confuse you so here you can see the ftp folder is empty now i'll put the ftp folder name here and the file size zero it means it will take the basic it will take the value from here sorry we need to put the data again this is 192 168 and uh, everything here channel number we need to record for all channels all days and 24 7 we have set and we also need a snapshot for that every channel yeah it's already done let's save these settings you can also cross check apply okay and we can test test his connection succeed it means it will still now 
try to send the data I will check on the FTP folder are we receiving anything or not yeah we are we are starting to receive the data now you can see the date is right now the current date is 1433 yeah the same and we are receiving the snapshots for every channel no we are receiving the snapshot for only channel number one so we can cross check maybe we have done some mistakes In record mode there is only one channel here if we enable all these channels and we'll check now we are receiving for all channels And also this is the one minute length video channel number one channel number only i have three or four cameras working on main vr so all the data is just sending that to the ftp server you can check five cameras i have connected and i am receiving the data for all the channels yes channel number one two three and if anyone don't want to receive snapshot so he can disable or increase the time from here can you increase the time the maximum time is 600 seconds so you can after 600 seconds you will receive the snapshot and for snapshot settings you can also check the resolution from encode settings you can go to snapshot option and you can increase or decrease the resolution or schedule or event whenever you want to receive this on this FTP we can do the settings from here we will again check we are receiving continuously we are receiving the files now let's suppose we will dis disable this option here we will turn this option on off we will delete this to confirm are we receiving the new data or not now we are not receiving the snapshots because we have turned the snapshots off so if you are not receiving the snapshot that you can check the settings here and check the settings here you are receiving the files now you can also play back the smart player i have already installed on my PC I can check the file directly you can see the playback the file length is one minute as we have already said the length it should be one minute so we are receiving the one minute files thanks for watching my video